What You Waiting For, released in 2004 by Gwen Stefani, was added to the Just Dance mythos in 2011's Just Dance 3. It's from the album Love, Angel, Music, Baby. It has a difficulty rating of 2 and a rating of 1, 2 gold moves, but 1 in the remake. The pictogram color in the original is daisy blush, but nugget to Puerto Rico to bluish corn in the remake. The glove colors are cyan slash aqua to supernova in the original, but cyan slash aqua to golden tanoi in the remake. The lyric color is pink, but cyan slash aqua in the remake, and it has 84 pictograms. This is the first song by Gwen Stefani in the Just Dance series. The clean version is used and it censors this word. Damn is censored, but that's separate. The line back into Japan is misinterpreted as back and do Japan. Let's move on to the song itself. I really like this song. This is like one of the pinnacles of Just Dance 3. It really shows like what they were able to do back then, even with all the limitations that they have. Like they definitely don't have those kinds of limitations today. And hey, back in those days when they wanted to change who you were looking at, they would have to just like do some filter nonsense or just like color correct differently than they already were doing. <laughs> like literally it's just like light mode, dark mode, and I love that. This is probably the most Just Dance 3 song in Just Dance 3. The choreo is also pretty fun too. Now let's move on to the background of the map. There are actually four versions of this background. In the Wii version of Just Dance 3, the background seems to be a clock that reflects the sky above. In the first verse, the color of the clock is dark red, and when the chorus begins, the color scheme changes to blue. There are clouds which change from pink to stormy blue and clockwork and gears in the far background. The dancer is standing on a platform which seems to be a clock with the number 12 missing. In the PS3 version, the clock is reddish brown in the verses and aqua in the chorus, and it does not reflect anything. In the Xbox 360 version, the background has been remodeled in 3D. The clouds now go further into distance and surround the clock platform, which makes the coast briefly covered during transition. The platform itself has been remade and now features Roman numerals instead of Arabic. Moving clock hands were added, with our hand going faster than minute hand. It's also a bit smaller than on the Wii and PS3. The background gears have also been animated to fit the ticking and clicking sounds during the intro. The number of floating clock hands has been reduced and they are no longer pulsating. The remake uses the Wii background, except the gears move when TikTok is sung. The clock in which the dancer is standing on clouds are modified. So yeah, just like different versions of this same background in different consoles with different limitations. You know, the Wii obviously had the most limitations, but come on, couldn't you have like sprinkled in some of the Xbox 360-ness onto the PS3? Because correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the PS3 slightly more powerful? Like Just Dance 3 had so much preferential treatment on the Xbox 360, probably because they had to like, I don't know, I guess remake the game from scratch just to work with the Kinect. That also brings up the point of like all the features that are exclusive to the Xbox 360 version but that's a video for a different day but yeah at least in the xbox 360 version that i played the background is phenomenal and i really really like it this is what we were getting before i feel like there are certain maps in the current just dance game 2024 that you could point to and be like that is worse than this map that is both high praise for this map and a really big diss at the current stuff this background is gonna get a perfect now let's move on to the appearance of the coach in the original, the dancer is a woman with hot pink poofy hair with yellow highlights. She wears a yellow dress with streaks of purple that have arrow-like designs. The center of the skirt has purple ruffles. She also wears yellow leggings, yellow ankle boots, and purple cuffs and a pink bracelet on her left wrist. During the chorus, her dress and leggings turn teal and the streaks turn dark red. Her boots also turn teal and red cuffs, and the highlights on her hair also turn teal. In the Just Dance 2015 mashup for maps, she reappears, but looks more realistic. Her face is slightly visible, and the streaks on her dress during the verses and bridge are slightly more reddish. In the remake, her face is less visible, and her hair is now darker. Her boot cuffs during the verses and bridge are now dark blue. She does keep her more realistic appearance from the Just Dance 2015 map mashup. Again, this design is peak Just Dance 3. It's more complex than stuff from Just Dance 2 and 3, but obviously not as complex as outfits have gotten, although that's also debatable. Uh -huh, wasabi Extreme. Uh -huh. I think this is a perfectly acceptable outfit for Just Dance 3. It has a lot of varying colors. They're all super saturated. And can you imagine this on like a CRT, which a lot of people still had back then? I mean, come on, we're talking about 2011, like 16 by 9 in HD was just starting to become a thing back then. Correction, they were only just starting to become widely available. I'm tired. So you gotta remember that most people were probably looking at this through a CRT and for what it is, it's pretty good. Like even today on my Xbox 360, it looks really good. I like it. I'm gonna give it a perfect. And finally, let's move on to the gold moves. There are two in this routine. In the first gold move, you jerk your right shoulder such that it goes up and down with your left arm down. 
This is exclusive to Just Dance 3. In the second gold move, you straighten your body and slam your arms down while standing still. So as for the second gold move, they've reused this gold move a lot. Just like throw your hands down really fast. And I really don't like that. So I'm going to give it an okay. The first one is a lot more unique, but it's not hard. And while it does come in a pretty climactic part of the song, I feel like there could have been more parts of the song that could have fit it more. So I'm going to give it a good. Overall, what you're waiting for gets a perfect. Do you have any suggestions? Leave them down below and adios.